amazing work. You have created your own course. I congratulate you on that. But now comes the next step. Uh, how you are? How are you going to protect your course from being copied, from being stolen, all that hard work uh, by members of your website? Uh, my name is Nemanja, and I'm going to teach you how to uh, set up HLS encryption in order to protect your content like Apple does. So Apple has created HLS encryption uh, and I'm going to show you how to use it and how to set up additionally domain level protection that will additionally protect your content from being uh, uh, easily saved by Chrome or Firefox extensions for video downloading. So let's jump into the tutorial that I'm going to show you. In order to protect your content, we're going to use one of the services called Publitio that provides easy way for you to host your videos, uh, images and documents. Uh, but since we are talking about securing video courses, uh, we are going to go through their video hosting solution. And the important thing uh, to know is they provide cloud-based uh, video hosting uh, that uh, you can use to upload your video content so you don't have to think about infrastructure you don't have to think about how to scale it uh, they provide global CDN distribution uh, they transcode those videos optimize them so they do all the work so let's go into the dashboard Okay, so I'm now inside of the dashboard. Now in here I can see how much space I'm using, how much bandwidth I'm using, uh, which files I already have, versions of the files and those kind of stuff. But uh, the first step is in order to secure my content, I would like to create a watermark. So I'm going to choose uh, one image to upload. Uh, let's say video 128. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, HLS watermark. I want to show it uh, at the bottom right without, uh, let's say, 50 pixels padding, which means it's going to be 50 pixels from the right and 50 pixels from the bottom. So let's create this. Okay, so now this is going to be our logo for the video. Okay, now in here, what we need to do is to upload our first uh, video. So I'm going to use Oblitio Explainer video. So I'm going to going to drag and drop it in here. Now I'm going to click more options. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable HLS video encryption. Uh, and addish additionally, I want to watermark this video uh, in order to protect it. So let's start uploading. Okay, now the video is uploaded and we can see zero versions. So I'm going to wait a few minutes and then I'm going to refresh. Okay, now we can see that I have three versions, uh, but I'm going to click on a view icon. And when I enter here, I'm going to hear, I'm going to see preview of my video. And at the bottom, I can see that I have video called Publitio Video Explainer M3 UA with options VM HLS watermark, which means I should have watermark uh, inside of my video on the bottom right side. So let's see how that looks. So as you can see at the bottom right, I have my logo. Now, we do agree, it's white color, it's not transparent, uh, but that wasn't the point of this video. So I can watermark my video, the video will play. Uh, in here I can see all the different resolutions that are available. Uh, it will auto play the highest possible quality based on user's uh, internet speed. It's called Adaptive Bitstream. Uh, and uh, if, for example, my connection starts to deteriorate, uh, it would uh, drop me to 720p, then 480 or 360p if my internet connection is really bad. So this helps users uh, get the best experience they can get. Uh, now the next step is we need to 
uh, embed this video inside of your course. Uh, so for this example, I'm going to use one of my uh, test websites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click share uh, in here. Uh, I have option to select the player that I want to use. So you can customize players with uh, Publitio, for example, maybe you want a blue uh, player or the red one or orange, it's up to you. So I'll just select HLS test uh, and I'm going to copy the iframe to go to my WordPress website. Okay, now I'm inside of my WordPress and what uh, the next step is for me, uh, I want to add a custom HTML block now, depending on the system that you're using, uh, you should be uh, able to paste HTML iframe code anywhere. Uh, but uh, since I'm not using any uh, tutorial plugin uh, that generates kind of tutorial feeling, I'm just going to post it uh, inside of the post. Uh, so I'm pasting the iframe code that I got from Publitio uh, and I'm going to click uh, the update and I'm going to click preview. Now this post has already been saved by me uh, and as you can see it says Publitio HLS test and domain level protection. I'll get into domain level protection very soon. So let's click play. Perfect, so our video is working now uh, and it's uh, embedded onto the page. It's being encrypted and streamed as encrypted and standard uh, downloaders can't download it. Uh, so for example, this is video downloader. Now I'm going to see these files uh, and if I click download, it will start download. Uh, you will see it's going to download the file, but the problem is uh, that file is going to be corrupt uh, and that file will not work uh, when you try to play it. Now because uh, I'm trying to download it but for some reason it's not even starting so that is good uh, okay now there is an additional level of security that you can add on top of this uh, and how I'm, I'm going to show you something so when I go back uh, you can see that there is uh, embed URL so I'm going to copy it and instead of this page I'm just going to uh, open it and as you can see you can play the video uh, it will also play say, Say, same as it was on the page, but I want to implement additional security now. So I'm going to go into my settings uh, and I'm going to go into domain protection. Now domain protection is a feature that uh, allows loading of your content only from the domains that you specify. So I'm going to enable this and I'm going to click the save changes. Now I have already set my domains and by default they, this should work uh, if i open here uh, the video will say protected access the file can be viewed only from specific domain so even myself i can't see it okay so even if i'm logged in i won't be able to see it uh, if i try to visit the uh, direct link so what we're going to do now is go go to the page and we are going to reload the page and click play. And as you can see, video will play. Now, if I go again uh, and, for example, delete this and say google.com uh, and save changes, when I go back to my blog and I refresh the page, I'm going to get protected access. The file can be viewed only from a specific domain. So this will additionally add a new layer of security that prevents anyone who wants to uh, take, your, take your videos, copy the links, copy the embed code and paste it on their website. They won't be able to play it. And these videos are now secure. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this short tutorial. Uh, I would invite you to go to Publitio and create an account. Uh, and uh, I wish you all the best in your business.